Hello, my name is Roman Mironov. In this video, I review three translation member related changes in Omega T 3.1. The first feature is a new option under the view menu, which is called Mark Auto Populated Segments. I will enable it now. In this project, which is not translated yet, I have 100% matches for all segments that come from this existing TM TMX that is located in the TM folder of the project. So what I'm going to do is put this existing TM TMX under the auto folder of uh, the TM subfolder of the project in order to populate the project with those existing translations automatically. Alright. Here's where I put this TMX file. After I closed and reopened the project, this is what I get. All the five segments were automatically populated and have this background color. As soon as I edit say segment and save it, the background color is gone. Note that the colors actually may clash. For example, note this color in Numen here, and if I throw in Mark translated segments, these two colors combine and produce this, this kind of a mixed background color. So you need to be aware of this. This new function helps translators distinguish 100% matches from other texts visually, which makes it so much easier to do this than before, when the only way to recognize a 100% match was to open it and look into the fuzzy matches pane. So now we can do this in a more visual way. The next new feature I want to review is the Priority TM. Suppose you are working on a team project and get disconnected from the server, and then you continue working offline. After you connect back to the server, the question is how, how you get your translations to the server. New translations are not a problem because you can insert them using the auto folder. But what about edited translations? Those that you edited while disconnected from the server. The auto folder will not help in this case because it cannot override the translations that exist in your project save TMX. But the newly added enforce folder will. Here it is. Okay, so my TM subfolder, auto subfolder, and here is the enforce subfolder where the edited TM TMX file is. So this is how I can insert the new or edit the translations from from a TMS file in order to overwrite my current translations. And in this case you can see that in the edited TM file there is a, an edited translation. So instead of a verb I have a noun here. Since I already put this file where I need to use it to the enforce subfolder, I can simply reload the project. And as you see, the translation from the edited TM file overrides the translation from my current project save TMX. An important thing to note at this point is that you need to remove the file from the enforce folder or delete the enforce folder altogether after completing what I just did after overriding the existing translations and this is what I will do now now I have it and now I remove the file from the enforce folder so it's empty and the reason I'm doing this and the reason that I'm cautioning you is that every time you keep this this new 
edit the TM TMX file, it will keep overriding your translations. So even if you change something and then come back to the segment, you'll notice that your translation, the translation that you edited, was overridden by the translation from the edited TM. So if you're not cautious enough, you can actually lose your edits that you made after making this operation. And the final feature I want to review is register identical translation. Suppose I have a segment with a, a website address that I, I want to save to the translation memory. But it does not need translation, which means that in this case source equals target. But I cannot do this because when I close the segment and go to the next one, of course nothing happens. Previously my only option was to enable this checkbox, allow translation to be equal to source. But of course this resulted in writing not just those segments where source equals target is an eligible combination, but also actual segments, including those that actually need translation. Even if you didn't touch the text itself, the translations were written to the memory, which led to confusing statistics because, for example, this project appears completely translated, whereas this is not true at all. Now you have the exciting ability to avoid writing on actual untranslated segments to the translation memory, and this is achieved by disabling this option and then using manually this new command with a shortcut register identical translation on those segments where it is okay to have source that equals target for example this is where I will use my command here we go only that segment that requires equal source equals target situation is written to the translation memory. My general rec recommendation would be to disable the allow option and use this manual command every time you need to create an identical translation. This is it for now. Thanks a lot for watching and feel free to like this video if you want to tell me that it helped you in some way. Bye-bye.